And I am back, Werewolf Nate here, for our Let's Play of The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. In the last episode, we began the ruin, the Wind Ruins, I believe is what they're called. In this episode, we hopefully will be, be close to finishing this dungeon, if I don't get lost. As you can see, you use those two ice switches to extend this bridge. Huh, this totally doesn't look like an arena. I am in no doubt that I can just walk over there and be fine. Perfectly fine. Oh my god! Okay, I figured out a new technique for taking on these things. It's kind of do a, like almost like a morph ball thing. It's got a little trail of bombs, and not only will he like be stunned by them more likely, he'll get hit by one also as well. Well, well, that was actually quite easy. Ah, oh, that was pretty good. All right, I like it. I like it a lot. I believe we're about to get our item in a, in a second. No, we got some. Little spiny traps. All you gotta do is just run it, run with them, and they'll never get you. I've never had them get me. Never. Well, maybe one. I was stupid, but just get some good supplies. And over here on the wall, you'll notice that there's no exact crack on the wall, but these two skulls kind of give it away, don't they? Just bomb this wall here. And you get the mole mitts. Kind of told you that before it opened. Oops. You got the mole mitts. Dig, dig, dig to your heart's content. It's the equivalent of the shovel in this game. Oops. Oops. Laid a bomb at my feet. That's not good. It allows you to dig through these clods of dirt we've been seeing. See, isn't that great? It's one of the oh yes, that's very good. Straight into the boomerang fund you go. But yes, it'll allow us to travel a lot more in this dungeon, so... Alright. It, it can't dig through anything up besides dirt. It also works functions as a good shovel. Where you want to go now is actually... There's actually quite a few things we can do now that we have the, um... The mole mitts. And I... You can get a bunch of... You can get a ton of kinstones here. I never had to worry about trading when I did this in my practice file. Um, you can now go to this little doorway that you could not get here otherwise. There's not much here besides a little standoff with two whiz robes. Oh, watch out. The torches will, will try to shoot you as well. Not hard at all. And you get 80 mysterious shells. Well, I guess that'll be useful for when we get that um, heart piece later. I'm probably going to be like either fast forwarding that or just showing you it all done because that's going to take a long time. I've never actually finished it. But what you want to do now is that now you can get the other, now you're going to get the other key on the right side. More of these little bubble things that are annoying. Man, kinstones left, kinstones to the right. Ah! Yeah, those, that, those things are annoying. They travel along those walls. Ah, they electrocute you. I believe if you pull this, I believe if you pull this switch here, you get a chest. Yes. Another kinstone. Like I said, you'll get a ton of kinstone pieces here. More spiny choo-choos. And also, also by going this way, we don't have, we can now do that without worries. Uh, the moments are extremely useful in this first dungeon. They're not, they're also useful later on for digging through certain tunnels you couldn't do otherwise. Dare I dig through? Ah, uh, that's what I get for digging through. Go on, there we go. Wow, another kinstone. Yeah, these thing, these little bubble things are annoying. You can, um, you can use, kill them with a boomerang, and then they'll give you a fairy, which will be quite useful, like, later on. Okay, first off, you want to kill this armor guy. If I can. Nothing. All right, then. Which, if you notice, there are two switches in the previous room. What you're wanting to do is here, you just want to take the one to the far left, and the one in the far right to form an equally spaced duo allowing you to do that. Simple. These these puzzles are actually quite simple. 
They get really hard near the final final dungeon. Slowly walking, finding our way across. Now, there's one thing we can do here that is actually quite useful, and I will do that right now. Just fall down as a minish! Ah! Ah, we're falling! Ah! Oh, but this is actually a good thing. See, there's a minish door right here. And you want to, you really want to do this, because if you do, you get a heart piece. This is great. I don't think I get it. All right, a new heart container. All right, this is great. Of course it's great. It's Zelda, of course it's great. So now we got a whole nother heart container. That'll be good for fighting this final, for fighting this boss. But actually, you can't go back up there as a minute, so what you actually have to do is you actually have to maneuver around this fairy. Or, not fairy, the bubble guy. I guess he's a bubble. He never looks like a bubble. They call him bubble, but they never call him... They never look like bubbles in these games. Okay, which one? Come on. Don't make me have to figure this out on the, on YouTube. Ah. Yeah, he'll, he'll, he'll... Yeah, he'll sometimes clip you through the block, so watch out. There we go. Now get out of there. Oh, I see something. Another 50 rupees! This is very good, this is very good. I'm actually not gonna spend those on the boomerang anymore, because I realized you can actually get a better boomerang for free. Just takes a bit of kinstone trading later on. I'll, I'll explain that in a later video. But, you know, we don't have to worry about this, so it's just an easy, it's an easy little backtracking way up. You don't even have to walk around it. You can just simply dig through. You can dig through like a mole. A Mondo Mole! No, not a Mondo Mole. You are not a Mondo Mole. What am I even saying anymore? Even I don't know. Even I don't know. So what you want to do now is that when you're really tiny, what you want to first do, before going to that portal, you want to turn on this Armos so you, so you can kill him and get him out of the way of that switch. And away we grow. There we are. Oh. Yeah, you don't be, be careful. He don't knock him off, knock you off into the pit, because he will do that. And another cutscene, just to remind you. Hey guys, guys, there's a key down there. Just want to let you know there was a key down there. Did you know that there was a key down there? You probably didn't notice that there was a key down there. Let's show a cutscene that shows you that there's a key down there. Did you know there's a key down there? There's a key down there. There's the key that was down here. You see that, right? It was up there before, but now it's down here. That's what Nintendo thinks of you. Now, there's one last thing I could do that... Wait a minute, I already did that. Never mind. One more thing to do here is that continue back up this way. Now you can take the right passage. Remember those two doors? Yeah, now we're going to take the right. Out of my way. Now this is this could be a little tricky at first, but what you're going to do is that... Watch this. A bridge is going to extend, but... Oh, wait. Yeah pulls away just f fast enough for you not to get anywhere on it. So what you need to do is you need to grab your Pegasus boots on. Ah, I was a little late there. You actually have to start revving up before it fully extends. And boom! There you go! Phew! We barely made it! I was certain we'd run out of time! Yes, but we didn't, because I'm awesome. Oh, no, these are floor masters. They don't have a portal thing as it did in the last game. What is recommended in in this is to pull out your bow and kill them. Well, kill them would be any... But if you use your bow to kill them, it's an insta-kill. See? Yeah, you want to avoid them because if they grab you, they will teleport you down to the to the first floor. I'm just kind of waiting for them to get over here. Dude, get over here. So I can kill you. Dude, I just want to kill you. This is not wise for you to swat them, because they will get you if, you if you're not careful. And that is very annoying, trust me. But if you kill them, you get that. 
But you want to you don't want to do that just yet. What you want to do is you want to head down here as a regular person. Cuz you you're going to need to get two keys from this little puzzle here. So first you got to wait for these little spinners, these little rollers to go on. See, so just wait under these holes. You're perfectly safe under the holes so that you're not worrying. And now what you got to do is you, you got to have all four of these puzzle these pieces down. But you can only have two of them down with the switches. You can also have two of them down with your with one of your copies. So what you want to do is that you'll notice that it will only cover this end and this end of the switches. So what you want to do is that you want to push this one over here. This, this isn't as puzzle heavy as an Oracle of Ages, though it has a lot of elements similar to Oracle of Ages, I've realized, by watching some, some other Let's Players play of it. So now what you want to do is charge up your sword. Now you gotta be really careful. So what you want to do is you want to slowly lead him down, and then there you go! And a key drops from the ceiling. Got a small key! But you you don't want to head out just yet down this road. What you want to do first is, um... Well, let's not, let's not follow our doom. Ow. Well, I've glitched through the roller. That's new. So before heading heading off, let's um let's become a minish so we can go through another key acquiring section. So I just shrink down again. All right, we're doing good on time. Now you want to be really careful in this. This is even harder than it was before because you can't take shelter underneath these holes. In fact, you fall down them. So, um, just a little. Well, duh! I gotta open the door first. Oh, oh, dang it! Mind fart. Sorry, guys. Sorry to waste your time, but. Hurry up and correct this issue. And the speediest way I can is a tiny little thing that's about, I don't know, an inch tall maybe? Or smaller? Maybe a few centimeters? I don't know. These skulls magically reappear. I really gotta question how many people had to die just to decorate this place with skulls. So now that that is open, we can now go through the long process of going around this room as a tiny person to get our last key that we're going to need to get to the final boss. Well, somewhat. It's gonna require a little doing, but it'll get done. I really, I'm really not good at editing these things yet, so um, you're just gonna have to handle watching this over. Cause I know other the some of the better Let's players, you know, they edit they edit out the annoying or redundant kind of stuff that you don't need to see. Well, I don't got that. I don't have that skill just yet, but I will eventually. Maybe in a different program than iMovie. So what you do here is that you notice I could, this is an area only accessible by a minish, so that's why I had to shrink down. And you notice that one in one of these openings, a key landed. Now you want to be careful. You see those sparkle, those sparkles? Those are bubbles. So and you don't want to release them because they'll hurt you. Don't worry. If you can easily avoid them all, so just simply. Ah! And there I go. I. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Ow! Ow! So, anyway, man, that was bad. That was bad. <laughs> all right. Now that we got this key, we'll be continuing on in the next episode. Bye bye.